I think about myself in, in coming up in the bad boy system. Mm-hmm. We didn't know at the time it was, we were making history. We had no idea. And when you get into something for love, when you get into something for the purest of reasons, the history, the money, the accolades, it all comes. Mm-hmm. It all comes. So even as I'm listening to you and you're just like, yo, I didn't know, you know, we didn't know at the time we were really making history like you guys did. And I totally understand what you're saying, like the validation part. Right. You know, it's it's funny what you say, because I remember I remember Bad Boy had the office on 21st. What was it? 21st? 19th 19th Street. And so um, and that was the small, smaller office. <laughs> Very and, small. And small. But I, I just remember like thinking to myself and we I, we would go up there. I just remember thinking to myself, like his whole thing was to be better than 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 um than Andre, than than um yep. than than um than Andre and Def Jam. We were trying yeah, to, we were trying Def, to right, pick the hole in Def Jam's back every chance back. we got. Right. And so <laughs> think about that, like. There wasn't this like, it was a strive for greatness, but there was something that you were trying to be greater Correct. than. Yep. Right. And so when you look at that, and you go, you know, uptown. That's uh, I had a complete brain thing, with, but so uptown. So you leave uptown. They say, "Yo, Russell's killing it. Andre's killing it. The two guys that I look up to the most killing it. I got to start my own thing, and I got to kill it." the way that they would expect me to kill it if I'm not leaning on them. It's Absolutely. that motivation that I used for myself when I just, when I stepped out. The, here's the crazy story. So me, Hype, X, we all in Trinidad during Big Pimpin'. And we, we leave Trinidad. We were there for like four days or five days or something. We leave Trinidad and we had to shoot um, Pimp C's part in Miami because he couldn't travel. Uh, he couldn't leave the country. So we had to shoot his part in Miami. So we're on the beach and I'll never forget this. And hype goes to me. He says, yo, when you going to quit? I was like, quit what? And my, by this time I was, I was first AD, right? Which means the first assistant director, which means I'm like right next to him, setting the whole scene up, calling all the shots for him, making sure everything is together. I said, what do you mean? He said, I know you want to direct, so what you waiting on? Wow. And I was like, <laughs> I didn't expect that. We sit there waiting for Jay to come out and you know to the thing. We set up the shot. And in the middle of that, he just asked me that. He said, Yo, this is the last job that you're gonna be on with me. I don't want you on no more jobs. You gotta go do your own thing. Oh Crazy. wow. Yep, crazy. So I was like, man, and he was serious. He was serious because now he knew that I was ready. You feel me? So he had to like, he had to push me out of the nest. Like, yo. And at first I looked at it like, yo, he really, he can't be serious right now. But he was, he was very serious that it was time for me to, to be out on my own and start my own thing. So that was in uh, February of, of 2000. And then July of 2000, I direct my first video, which was Wild Out 2K. You know, so I don't know if I would would channel live and wild out 2K. So I don't know if I was about to ask I'm I'm sorry, go ahead. I don't know if I would have done that had I not been pushed pushed out of the out of Big Dog. You know what I mean? Like had I not been and pushed out is the right word because it was like, yo, how long are you gonna stay under my my wing? Like you gotta go do whatever it is you're going to go do. Cause I believe in you, but him, he never said, I believe in you or I think you great. He was like, yo, it's just his way. Like, yo, you gotta go. You, I can't hire you. no more. You gotta go do whatever it is you're going to go do. And that, and that, and that my friend is the biggest compliment he can give you. Yeah. Um, even sometimes with our own biological children. Yeah. You know, yeah. being at home is comfortable. It is, you know, they, they, it's free room and board. Right. Um, you know, mama is is going to ha- always have food in a refrigerator. You mm. know, routine. And sometimes in order for you to grow, in order for you to reach your potential, in order for you to achieve your destiny. Your parents got to it's time to leave. It's time, time to get out the nets. 
And that's done out of love. So I love hearing that story because yeah. you can tell that hype really loved you and respected. Oh yeah, no question, no question. But it was his way. It was the way, it was the only way he could have done it. It's the only way he could have done it. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.